Hey, thanks for watching the Monday Hancock Inspirational Television like we do at the top of the telecast. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we just thank you, God, for continuing to bless us in such a special and supernatural way, Lord, that only you can give. A special kiss and shout out to the folk, to the soldiers down here in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. What's up there, fellas? Special kiss and a salute to the soldiers and the Marines down here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Now, look, the commercials is going to be running about our our tour with Pastor Shirley Caesar, Grammy Award winning songstress and comedian Sister Cantaloupe. We're going to be doing a North Carolina National Wilson Talent Search Idol. So look, stay locked in. A shout out to all of the Lions Club members down here in Lee County for setting up a terrific flow. They've got the drive-in that's going to be running from uh, Fridays all the way up through the fall into the winter season. So look, stay locked in. Keep your pens and your pads right next to you so we can bless our 10th caller to win a, a family prize pack to go right into the drive-in with no cost, okay? Now, look, we've got a great, great set of people here. They're running for uh, Lee County Commissioners. Look, what we'll do, I'll let them personally introduce themselves to you. Hi, I'm Amy Darrumple, and I'm running for re-election for the Lee County Board of Commissioners. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Cameron Sharp, and I'm running for Lee County Board of Commissioners at large. And I'm Mark Lovick, and I'm also running for Lee County Commissioner at large. You have three votes, so please vote for us three. Okay, look, we're going to take a quick inspirational flow to bless your ears. Stick and stay. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey, okay, we're back. Once again, thanks for watching the Monday Hancock Inspirational Television right here on the CW22. We'd like to thank our producer, uh, Terry of Brick Capital, for continuing to uh, bless us. We can't do it without him. He's been on us with tours for the past couple of months, so we'd like to salute their team and him as well. Uh, speaking to salute, and we're going to salute um, the community, but before we get started, I want everybody to know we treat everybody the same. So you're going to see some Democratic parties here on the set. The next week, you're going to see the Republican Party. We are, we are straight down the middle, so we don't want nobody to watch this and get it twisted, okay? Listen, Miss um, Amy, uh, what do you see as the greatest need in the county of Lee? Um, the, the greatest need, I think, uh, right now is um, we've, we've just got a lot of tremendous growth coming to the county, mm -hmm. and we just completed a land use plan last year and updated it. Um, so implementing that and, and managing the growth that's coming into the county, um, welcoming growth, certainly. But at the same time, you know, making sure we do things correctly because we're going to see a lot of growth in the next four to five years. And when you say speaking of growth, that means lots of jobs. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because it's, it's a combination. It's business and industry coming into the county uh -huh. as well as a lot of um, housing developments and um, a, you know, apartments, single family homes, town homes. A, a variety of choices for, for residents here in Lee County. Okay. Uh, can you pass the mic to sure. this gentleman here? I'd like to ask you, um, what separates you from your opponent? <clears throat> what, what separates me from my opponents is the experience that I have as eight years on the Lee County Board of Education from 2008 to 2016. Uh, and I ran for uh, commissioner in 2016. And, and, and currently still on board seeking re-election. I don't think any of my opponents has any experience in local government, how to run a school system, or or the county. So I think that would be my biggest asset uh, to get back on the board, and uh, it would be my experience. Um, do you see anything um, that can be done new or is there any changes that has to be made in the near future or in well, the foreseeable future? Well, what I would say is, you know, my top three f priorities would probably be continuing to fund K-12 education, public safety, and uh, 
our economic development in 2019 and in the years that uh, myself and Ms. Dyrumple have been on the board has been unprecedented uh, with uh, $800 million worth of new inv investment coming in the county. Okay. Let's get the mic to this gentleman here. He's <laughs> in the oak. He's real quiet. <laughs> uh, anything you'd like to add to that? Um, I would like to go into, since I'm running, I I'm, I'm, uh, hadn't been elected. Uh, I'm the third guy on the wheel. The three opponents that um, we'll be facing, I, I don't call them opponents because we're each one running for a seat. Mm -hmm. But um, I've invested in this community. I, I've, in the last uh, two and a half years, I've been going to the county commissioner's meeting. These guys can tell you I've been there. Uh, the guys, the other ones running, uh, I'd like to bring up my fire service. I was a firefighter for 17 years and uh, made it to the rank of captain. So I directed and uh, watched over operations of emergency situations. Okay. So I'm, I can handle the heat of battle. I'm a small business owner uh, uh, here in Lee County. And uh, I also been a part-time deputy since 1988. So uh, things coming in front of me and making aware of things, you know, at the spur of the moment is, is not a big thing. Thankfully, most decisions in the county commissioners has, you know, is something that we can uh, look ahead to and all. And I'm proud of these guys I'm sitting with for the, for the things they put in front of this county to make us a better county. We're in really good shape. Whoever gets voted in is going to get inherit really good genes of things that's uh, been happening in the Lee County. And I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I've been going to the meetings. I've been putting my time in. I've been out in the community showing my support. And I will be one that will work for this county. I'm not one that's going to sit back. When I'm in, I'm all in. So people's already seen me at ribbon cuttings and ground breakings, and I'm going to be there and work for this county, and I will do my very best. And uh, that's my two promises to this county. Okay, okay. Amy, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, okay. we're going to get back to you, all right? Sure. We're going to take a quick break. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back once again. Thanks for watching. I'm running Hancock Inspirational Television. Uh, boy, we just got a little time left, but man, you know, time flies when you're having fun, you know? It does. Well, okay, um, um, Cameron, I want to direct this question to you. What separates you from other candidates when it comes to economic development? Well, I think the, uh, the incentives that uh, we entice the, uh, the big companies to come into Lee County is uh, one of the big differences between our Republican opponents. Um, you know, the you go out in the community and you try to sell uh, the incentive program, it, it's, an, it's a tax rebate. It's not welfare as they would have you believe. Uh, you can go anywhere in North Carolina in the surrounding counties and Republicans are for incentives to bring business for their citizens but here in Lee County, which seems to be an outlier, uh, that is not the case. Uh, but I would go on to say, uh, uh, since me and Miss um, Dyrumple, uh, Chairwoman Dyrumple, have been on the board since 2016, we've brought many jobs, and those that were, would not be po possible without the incentives that we had to offer these companies to come. And it's, uh, it's a tax rebate. I want to repeat that, a tax rebate. They have to follow rules, and there are clawbacks if they do not uh, comply. So, um, I would just like to add from uh, in the year 2019, we have uh, had uh, unprecedented growth. Uh, we brought four of the top 25 companies to North Carolina in 2019, and uh, and and that's been unheard of before in okay. Lee County. Okay, oh boy, time flies when you're having fun, boy. <laughs> Amy, boy, I'm gonna hit you yes. real fast. Okay. Uh, what achievements? do you think you guys feel most proud of? I, I think, um, I hope I can speak for uh, Vice Chair Cameron Sharp uh, and um, and other members of our board. And I know uh, Mr. Lovett here uh, has watched this happen <laughs> for the last couple of years as he's uh, geared up for this candidate, uh, candidate run. Um, it, it, it's the synergy here in Lee County that our board has created. Um, when when I first got on the board in 2008, um, you know, you had the schools, the town, the city, uh, economic development, the community college, you know, everybody was kind of in their lane. Um, 
and uh, in, in the last four years, it, it's just been amazing how um, everybody is working together. Our board, the Sanford City um, Town, the City Council, the Broadway Town Commissioners, CCCC, our SAGA board, which is our economic development, the K-12 school system. We meet frequently, and, and I think everybody shares the same vision, you know, as far as moving the county forward with education opportunities, with jobs, with um, business growth. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of new stores opening, and, um, I, you know, COVID-19 has created some problems, you know, with, with people um, getting laid off and, and businesses having to close for a short period of time. But um, our, our board, uh, the county received money from the CARES Act, okay. and we uh, created two grant programs, one for small business and one for nonprofits, so that, you know, as they have fallen on hard times, we have given out grants to help those folks, uh, not, not with local tax dollars, but with the federal money that came down okay. from the CARES Act. Uh, so... Just this teamwork has just right. been amazing. I'm so proud of what our board's been able to do. Well, listen, may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. And um, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank you ladies and gentlemen, it's, it, it was my pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, look, time flies when things are going fine, but we mm -hmm. got to get up out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. I practice this time and time again. It always worked. Allow God to show up inside of you. Yes. So he can show up. So next time, go out and work like you don't need the money. God bless you all. So long, everybody. <laughs>